Hey girl, hey, it's Asia May, and today I'm gonna to show you how I got this super cute knotless hairstyle. These are jumbo knotless braids. So easy to do, girl. I was done literally in four hours. This is actually my second time doing this style. I'm getting ready to travel, and this is like a lifesaver. No hassle, no worry, just get up and go. And the beads add a nice little touch. So you can find everything that I use, all the products linked in the description box. Let's get straight into the tutorial. Peep the fro girl. I'm starting this hairstyle off with a heatless blowout because it makes it so much easier to part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go from temple to temple all the way around and I just make a nice little U shape, right? Once I've got that down, I'm gonna put away the top section. Then we're gonna get into parting the back. Now I'm only gonna do one clean line from ear to ear and then begin to create about two inch sections going um, horizontally. These are going to be my braids and I'm going to just pre-section that with the rubber band applying a little bit of styling jam and then sectioning it off. I love doing this because it just allows me to move a lot faster when I get ready to braid and I'm going to show y'all that a little later. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just making sure that I keep the sections the same size and I'm also making sure that my parts line up real nicely with the bottom row creating windows. So I actually did this middle row first and then I went in and I parted the bottom row making sure to create those windows. As you can see, I'm just creating a little T, you know, with the parts so that way the braids fall in between the parts. And this is the back of my head completed. As you can see, all I have is three braids in the back and then I pretty much just filled out the middle. So now I'm moving on to the front and this just requires you to part it directly in half. Make sure you get it nice and even in the back and again, make sure that you get that part in the middle or close to the middle of whatever braid is behind that part. Then you're going to part it in half on each side, creating a total of four columns. And then I just went ahead and I parted according to the size. And um, here we have all of the little square. So this makes it super easy to braid. As you can see, I just slide that rubber band off and I pre-section my braiding hair. This is essential for the quick movement through your hair. So I put them all on this little wooden rack. This spoolie holder is what I believe it's called. And I did half of my hair and I'm gonna show you guys the methodology. First, I'm adding a little bit of styling jam just onto the roots of my hair and just smoothing that through. I'm gonna work it in with the brush to make sure that I get my hair from roots to tip. And then I'm gonna go in with my hands and just finger part my hair into three sections. Once you got your three sections, you can begin to start the braid using your regular braiding motion. I stitch overhandedly. I'm going to wrap the hair around my pointer finger after just half of a stitch, like it's not even a complete stitch. Then once I've got everything nice and gripped, I'm going to proceed to cross over with my other hand and then I'm going to stitch the hair once more. So a total of two stitches and then add the hair in. And then I do two stitches again and I add the hair in one more time and I'm wrapping it around my pointer finger every single time. This allows me to pinch it with my pointer finger and my thumb, thus putting the left side of the strand into the middle of the hair in the middle strand and then the right strand goes into the right strand of my actual hair. So I'm gonna let you guys watch this up close in a second to make it a lot more clear, but I'm proceeding to braid my hair just like this throughout the rest of my hair. And honestly, the majority of this happened in the bathroom. I feel super comfortable in the bathroom just standing up, braiding my hair, knocking it out, which is another reason why I like to have my hair pre-parted. That way I don't have to worry about that. I just take the rubber band out and braid. It makes it super fast. So braid your hair somewhere more comfortable. So I literally worked on this from the back of my head to the front of my head and I intentionally worked on one side so I could save the other side to show you guys the method again. So let's take a look at that and I'm going to just let the music play so you can see what I'm doing. So right here, I'm just switching hands so I can have a better grip, but I actually haven't started braiding just yet. So literally, I still have done nothing. I'm just 
repositioning the strands to whatever feels the most comfortable. I finally got it and I did one stitch right there. And now I'm going to put the hair around the middle finger and just begin to braid it into the hair, making sure that I have a really good grip and then I'm feeding in that hair again. Basically, I just did two stitches and added in the hair and then I added in about five to seven pieces. All right, so since we're doing the braid so big, it is important to add product to the ends of your hair, especially if you have thick hair like your girl, because that's what's gonna keep your hair nice and smooth as you have these braids in. So I did add product to the ends of my hair and make sure that I really smoothed it down and I tucked my hair in. The next thing that I did was I took this African Pride Curl Mousse. It doesn't really matter what mousse you use, honestly, but I took this mousse and I just put it on the roots of my hair and then I tied my hair down. This is hands down my favorite pattern for parting my hair when I'm doing this style and I'm in a rush. It is so quick, it looks good. It just overall is a great move. If you're on a time crunch, I say give it a try and let me know what you think. Check out my latest and greatest here and let me know in the comment box below if you're gonna be giving this a try and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye guys.